and welcome to the best of the good life. Now, as usual, my name is Drago. This is chilling, a show that I hope will have an impact on the future of this great nation, our country. Now, it is a wish for every student or every person that has passed through our academic system to graduate and then get that coveted job. You know, that is well paying and very good and suiting for them. But only a few defy the odds to go ahead and find something really going temporary before that deal finally breaks. Now, due to the popularity and the rise of Forex, young people have actually doubled up in this field to get some extra cash, you know. So the young man I have on the show today goes by the names of Simon. He says that he takes Forex to be just a half of his portfolio, a part-time thing that he does for friends but it earns him a great deal of cash. Now, Simon spends most of his time mentoring the same young people, teaching them the tricks on how to deal in Forex. Simon is here with me at the Katikati restaurant and is promising nothing more but a lot of the Forex stock. Now, don't move an inch, stay with me because this is the best of the good life. Good evening and welcome back to the best of the good life. Now, as usual, my name is Drago. Now, judging from my main introduction, you could tell that we have had this young man before. Now, due to public demand and people reaching out to me and inboxing him a lot, it was so overwhelming. He, he has told me we had to bring him back on the show to talk more about Forex, you know, to dwell much. Now, before we go into this amazing uh, interview i want to remind you guys about la Pea uganda who are located everywhere around across the country they have branches in gayaza in Tebe road to mention but a few or if you can't reach them physically contact them on their social app just go to la Pea uganda facebook twitter and instagram now this young man has got the bravery to imagine things and get them done that's how quick he is now he believes that trade to him is like a chess game it's 99 percent like a chess game to him you just have to get the pieces in the right place simon welcome back to the show it's pretty amazing that i'm back here yeah yeah how was it how was the feedback like well, i mean the first time that we had you on the show actually it was a good feedback whereby i had many people inboxing me you know people were like ah we saw you here you know i think you have the knowledge and stuff so they inboxed me reached out to me and I handled. Actually, I could think there could be young people, but I, I was surprised because someone was, uh, I, I think he was in his 50s. Yeah. Uh, he told me a story. He, he came at UBC purposely yeah. uh, to look for you. I said that you give him my number. And yeah. that, guy, that guy called me several times. Uh, he reached out to me. Uh, we talked, and his problems were so. But are you actually problem solving are you helping these people out uh, of course of course my students uh, my clients can tell i think you can also tell because yeah uh, you could see the screenshot that i uh, could and the feedback from uh, from the people that you give my number mm -hmm. so we handle each problem according to someone's capacity mm. you understand we make sure that you understand uh, the basics of uh, trading not only uh, passing through you know but Mm. making sure that you understand the real concept of trading. Simon, there is this funny thing about trade. You can never talk so much about it because there's so much to explore with trade. Now, with you, I'm going to just head straight for the jacular. All right? Now, one of the few feedback I got in my inbox is that people, some people believe that you can actually start trading without using a demo account because it's more, more realistic and it gives you that impulse and that excitement when you trade live. How true is this? Can somebody ever dare start trading with a, a demo, no, without no. a demo account? Not really, bro, that's not right. Yeah, tr trust me, because you don't know, uh, of course it's like uh, trying to get a new skill and you, you, try, you, you try out the real things uh, on, 
on something that you don't know. Of course, if you're, if you're a beginner, you have to start with a demo account. Understand, after getting a demo account, you get a, a strategy. After getting a strategy, you backtest that strategy using what you call a small, small investment, whereby, you know, you will determine, okay, that, that investment that, can, that will determine your capabilities, whereby, you know, you won't, you know, be emotionally affected when you lose that money. Because, you know, acquiring a skill, of course, you have to get, to get the ups and downs, you know, the failures, and you learn from your failures until you go on a live account, but it's not possible to start, and it's not good, and it's not advisable to start with a real account. Mm. Yeah, how, how much confidence do you have in your own strategy in case it fails, mm. happens to fail like 10 times, 20 times? Do you just quickly jump onto another strategy or another method of trading? How much confidence can somebody uh, sustain if they want to, to, to trade? Uh, it depends on, you know, consistency. Mm. Consistency means uh, whereby you have to account the times that you, you made your profits and the count uh, and the time uh, whereby you, you made losses. So when you, when you, when you see uh, your strategy uh, is more profitable, you understand, mm. you have to stick to the strategy because it's not good to, you know, to overcomplicate the strategies you, you jump in this strategy, you go in this strategy, it's not good. It's good to stick to your own strategy, you understand? And you pick Because it. somebody might use one strategy and it, it, it fails, it makes the so losses. That, that means... Why can't they jump to another? That means that strategy is not profitable. Because mm. you can't tell me you try out a strategy today, if it fails, you try out a strategy tomorrow, it fails, and you call it a profitable strategy. You have to research about profitable strategies. Mm. The strategies that are, you know, that are money-making, Mm. But not these strategies of beginners, uh, whereby they have to direct them, you know, where the graph is going, where the market is going, you know, the strategies that give you the perfect entries. So you have to make research about those strategies. But after getting it uh, and you get and you gain consistency, you get profits, you have to stick to it such that, you know, you don't overcomplicate uh, complicate the strategies and, you know, you get confused all the mm. time. The let us talk more about uh, the methods that are used in trading. I understand there are two, the fundamental one and the technical method. Mm. Which one do you use? Which one is more practical? Yeah, actually in trading, uh, it's 80% are fundamental and 20% technical. So you have to, you know, to take the 80% of it. So fundamental analysis is, you know, it's the best analysis to first use. Of course, they are all, they are all, you know, you have to use them, but you have to put your main emphasis on fundamental analysis whereby uh, the news, you know, the, okay, euro can lower down, you know, it can weaken, you understand? Mm, mm. So after knowing that, you know, uh, let's say it's euro USD, you understand? So your mind tells you, I have to search about what? I have to search about uh, the strength of what? Of the, of the dollar at the moment. So when you search and you find the dollar is stronger than euro, you understand? And euro is the best pair. Then USD is a what? Is a minor pair because it's your USD. So you've been knowing my market is in a what? In a downtrend because when the minor pair is stronger than the best pair, mm. that's a what? A downtrend. So you sell straight away. You understand? According, of course, you first wait for the confluences of your technical what? Analysis. So fundamental analysis gives you a hint, you understand, on where the market is going. Then technical analysis gives you uh, what you call uh, it's called demand and supply zones where you know you have to take your profit, take profit, where it set your take stop loss, and it gives you a, an entry point whereby you know there's an impulsive move. I have to enter from here, not you know, to risk my okay, okay, to, to manage my risk. So you know, I have to enter here. Is it an impulsive move or is it's a retracement? So that's the use of technical analysis. Wow, you're so overwhelming with so much information. I really have to break this and we're going to a break. We're going to commercials. We shall be back shortly with Shilling. Don't move an inch. On UBC, the program that helps you identify opportunities for investment, job creation, Growing your entrepreneurial skills, wealth creation, and social transformation. We have a product that is ready for schools, uh, supermarkets. Create wealth 
transform livelihoods. Every week, we showcase opportunities for creating new products and enterprises. I now harvest a lot of cocoa. When I harvest it, I sell. After selling, I, I put money in my project. I have two projects. One is for construction of my house. Two is for educating my children. Excellence in innovation, the passion and drive to succeed, and the right mindset to grow your business. Lives transformed on UBC. Every Wednesday, 7.30 p.m. Create wealth, transform livelihoods. Brought to you by Operation Wealth Creation. Bori mnyanya Uganda na itinga makurumarunge. UBC West ina makurumarunge kandi agari kwesigwa. Rero za program za yuzi omuri nyachitara hamwe nurufumbira. UBC West ina teknolojia e yomurende. Eri kujivasa kuhika omuvichwe kaviona omuihanga nangu na hiriye hanga. Tukwatele aha frequency zef. Chisoro, chena na mshanju, katunye ze mshanju, fama. Kalari, chena nisha tu katunye ze mshanju, fama. Hoima, chena na muenda katunye ze mwe, fama. Kampala, igane itano katunye ze mshanju, fama. Mbarara, chena na mshanju, katunye ze ina, fama. Futpoto, chena na mnana katunye ze mnana, fama. Masindi, igane itano, fama. Kuchelza UBC West, ohudiri mbagadiza. UBC West, mpika huna. Good evening once again and welcome back to Chilling. Today we decided to sit with a young CEO of his own company called Sky Forex Tricks. Now, he is in the building and he's here to talk more about Forex. Now, every question that you've ever asked yourself, have you ever typed these words on a computer before? How to make money online? You are going to get all your answers from this young man called Simon Agaba. Simon, uh, let's, let's be honest. This is a very daunting question to some people. who will be like, ah, it's nail biting. How many times do you look at that chat? Are you the type of person that looks at the chat seven times a day, uh, at night as well? Or are you the person that looks at the chat once in a day? Yeah, so to answer you very well, I'm a day trader. So a day trader, it means I hold my trades uh, in the same opening day, you understand, then in the same closing day. So me, uh, to look at the charts, of course, uh, it's when I'm going to trade. You understand? I, have, I don't have to look uh, at the charts uh, throughout the day. No, I look at, uh, at the chart twice because I enter my market. I first make analysis. I look. I open my, you know, my trading platform when I'm going to make analysis. Mm. You understand? And I enter my trade. After that, I set my take proofs and stuff, and, and I go do our stuff. Which has been the greatest peeps you have ever made since you started trading? And mm. does that mean you've? become a very successful trader once you've made that in a day? Yeah, actually it happened in, uh, it happened in Corona, last Corona, you know, the second wave. Mm. Yeah, it was GBP, JPY, uh, whereby I collected because it was in buy. It was in buy big time because there were, there were no news affecting the strategy because, you know, the economy was all down, people weren't working, you know, so we could determine uh, the, strength of, the strength of the currencies, you know, and, you know, we used... What how how, how many were they, the pips you made? They were 555. Wow. GBP, JPY. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Uh, Simon, these are some of the questions that are commonly asked, right? I know we have echoed them so many times, but people need to be reminded. Now, for example, what special skills does a good trader require? Uh, skills, of course, the ability are... Uh, the ability to read the financial markets, mm. the ability to understand uh, the news in the markets, and the ability to make a trading plan, mm. you know, to have a trading plan. Actually, that's the first thing you have to, you know, you have to know in Forex trading, to make a trading plan. Because when you trade without a trading plan, you can't have goals, and it can't be your career, you understand? But when you, you be like, I have a trading plan, uh, there's a way you're forced eh, you know, to make it so serious, you understand? So you have to get a trading plan, you have to, to be able to read the news, you have to be able to, 
uh, you know, to read the financial markets. And another thing, you have to be patient, mm. understand? And you have to be uh, well biologically and emotionally balanced. And you, ha you don't have to do what you call revenge trading. Mm. What is that? Revenge trading is whereby someone, you know, of course it happens in every business. You understand? You can get a bad day whereby, you know, someone, it depends on people, okay, it depends on someone. Okay, someone can use a lot of capital, you know. Someone can be profitable in the marketplace, you understand? Okay, this week it becomes a profitable week, you understand? And he expects a lot mm. due to not having a what? A, a trading plan. He expects a lot from the market, mm. you understand? And he finds out that it turns out to, to be, you know, not a profitable week. Yo, Simon, um, of course, some of the things that we have to emphasize mostly are the do's and don'ts when it mm. comes to Forex trade. Mm. What are some of the do's and don'ts off your fingertips? Let's highlight some of these. Uh, first one, you have to, the do's. Mm. You have to use a stop loss, always use a stop loss. Mm. And I think have a trading plan. Mm. The another thing, you have to trade with a trend. Yeah. You understand? Another thing, you have to get a well-funded account, mm. understand? And a uh, well-funded account, I mean, uh, you have to, not to start with three dollars and you're expecting to make money out of Forex. Of course, you have to start like, let's say, maybe it depends on your capabilities and what you want, but the list should be like, let's say, let's say like 20, 15, understand? 15 US dollars, 20 US dollars, such that, you know, you determine, of course, you, 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 you're not pulled out by what you call, uh, it's called the margin. Mm. Most people call it margin call. Understand? You're, you're not pulled out by the margin. Understand? You keep in the market. Oh, so what about the don'ts? The don'ts, mm. the don'ts of uh, don't do what you call revenge trading. Yeah. Revenge trading actually is the worst. You know, they bang you and you feel like you want revenge on markets. Don't use your bill money. Mm. The money that you can't afford to lose. Mm. Don't trade when you're not emotionally stable mm. or biologically stable. You trade when you're fine, when you're in a good state mm. where you know, yeah, I'm ready for the markets. And I th another thing, the don't is um, never you, uh, the risk reward ratio, uh, the risk you have to use, never you exceed 5% uh, of the risk reward ratio or never you risk one more than 5% of your initial capital. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Simon, we are going to take another break and we shall be back shortly with chilling. Please. Don't move anywhere. We are going to overcome, all right? Stick with us. Chilling, we'll be back in a moment. All right, welcome back to the best of the good life. Now, Simon, let me ask you, what are the, uh, what are the four types of Forex traders? Uh, we have uh, a scalper. A scalper, this, uh, this is a trader who holds our trades uh, for shortest uh, time intervals, whereby they are below 30 minutes, you understand? Mm -hmm. He collects, uh, he, he opens the trades and closes the trades within a, a shortest period of time. Okay. Uh, then the second one is a day trader, I'm also a day trader. Mm -hmm. You hold your positions uh, throughout the day in the same trading day, you understand? The markets open uh, at 4 a.m. and close at uh, 11 in the same day, you understand? So. Uh, that's a day trader. Then I will have a swing trader. A swing trader trades overnight. Uh, he can hold trades like for two days, mm. you understand, but I uh, can't exceed uh, weeks. Then we have what you call position traders. Those are long, long term traders, whereby their trades are uh, the shortest trade. Uh, I think it, it can be maybe two days. He can, he can hold trades for over four years, five years, even, you know, some years. So. It's a scalper, then swing trader, day trader, and position trader. Do you have something like a golden rule when it comes to trading? Yeah, golden Because rule. we have seen the do's and don'ts. But is there like a golden rule when a it comes to trading? A golden rule in Forex would actually have two. Okay. The first rule is always use a stop loss. Okay. To protect, because that's the first rule in trading. Protect your initial what? That's golden. Golden. You have to protect. When you're trading, you have, you have to... To know I'm protecting my what? My initial capital, such that you're not, you know, you're not hit by these emotions when they take your money, you know. So that's the first rule. Then another rule is, you know, to understand uh, the basics of the fundamental analysis. Mm. Understand? Mm. So those are the rules that, you know, that keep you in the market. 
So is uh, trading more of a, a high risk or high reward sort of thing when it comes to trade? Or somebody should, should stick to their own conservative opinion when it comes to trade? Because there's something about revelage mm. that people don't understand when it comes to trade. Do you put in so much to expect so much in return? Or what can you say about revelage? Yeah, of course, uh, as, I, as I talked about it uh, last time, because trading is like any other career, you understand? You don't have to you know, put $50 and you expect uh, $2,000, you understand? You have to, to have this thing in your mind, a risk ratio of 1 to 2 or 1 to 3. Let's say you have $50, you have to use a, a high leverage whereby you know the leverage is 1 to 3,000, whereby I know uh, when I use this risk reward ratio, at least I'm having $50, I'm going to get, uh, I'm going to get at least 100 in a day. You understand? 100 or $50, but not expecting 2,000 US dollars. You understand? And yet your account is standing on 50. So you have to manage your risk. You understand? Because when you, when you don't uh, beat out that thing of managing your risk, you, can, you can't beat the market because, you know, the market can be favoring good directions, but due to retracements, you understand, you're pulled out of the market because, you know, the load size that you use, the leverage that you have, uh, when the market, you know, comes in a retracement, you know, of course, the market comes in a retracement to get an impulsive move mm -hmm. uh, to follow its direction, but that retracement can pull out, can, you know, can pull you from the market just because of the leverage that you used or the load size that you used. So it's better, you know, to understand more about risk management. That thing is under risk management. You have to understand that concept in trading. Mm. It, it also actually, that's the thing that beats out many traders. Mm. You understand that thing of risk management. They be having complete and you know, perfect strategies, but due to you know, failure to, ma to manage their risks, they're kicked out of the market. You know what's so sad or funny about trading is that people are more worried of losses than the profits that they make. Mm. So somebody is already trading or wanting to learn to trade, but they are so worried about, oh, I'm going to lose this much, you know, than gaining this much. Mm. So wh what, what, what are some of the most profitable indicators when it comes to trading, according to you? Yeah. By the way, this is his own opinion. This, uh, yeah, we are not telling you to, to use this information when you're trading. But you can contact him privately if you need more information because he's here to educate you, all right? It's not here to give you any uh, trading advice. Mm -mm. Uh, so profitable indicators are this what you call moving average convergency and divergency. Uh, it's called MACD in brackets. Uh, but that, that one is kind of, you know, it's kind of messy and it's kind of complicated. I don't normally recommend it because, you know, uh, when someone is beginning, uh, you have to get something that's kind of, you know, convenient to your side. So the most convenient trading, uh, trading indicator is called profit parabolic. It, it involves of the moving average uh, exponential, mm. then plus the parabolic size. Mm. So, so that's the perfect, because so, it gives you uh, the moving average, the first moving average, it beats 100, gives you the direction of the trend, then the 20 gives you the entry point of the, you know, the entry point where you enter your trades from and where you exit your trades from, then the parabolic size gives you a stop loss and a take profit. That's a complete setup. Wow. Someone, how do you learn all this because you've been yapping you've been talking and i'll be like wow i'm just so overwhelmed and fascinated i mean some of the people that have met you personally yeah, that i've directed to you or i've referred to you they have also gotten such information from you yeah sure they have not been underfed yeah sure trust me they have the and do they come with questions Ah, yeah, people, of course, they do. They, they do. What has been the funniest question, like somebody wanting to trade has ever come with? Uh, the funniest question, uh, someone comes to you and be like, uh, man, uh, can I, okay, they expect a lot from the market. <laughs> okay, you know? don't shoot me. What do they say? Say what they say. Of course, okay, okay I, I normally get uh, some students, of course, at campus. These guys, you know, these guys are f fancy. You know, mm. so the guy trades like for two days and he tells him, man, I want to buy a car like next, what and what, can I do it, you know, can I start with five dollars and, you know, of course, we, we tell, but the good thing we tell them the real truth, yeah. it'd be like the thing needs consistency, mm. you understand, make it as a business, you know.
try to raise your profits, grow your account. Don't focus on you know getting money from nowhere, as 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 if it's a money making machine. But you know, yeah. stick to your plan and the trading plan. It's not an overnight success. Yeah, it takes time, right? Yeah, of course. And uh, one one of the things we were blattering about before the cameras rolled, as uh, Simon was that most traders or people that are into this field don't want to say the truth. Why is it so? They want to sugarcoat the truth. Yeah, yeah, sure. Because, you know, uh, it depends on someone, of course. It depends on your heart. It depends on, you know, how you view things. And it depends on how you grow, you understand? So it's, it, 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 it's not nice whereby you want to, to give out information and don't give out the real information. And yet this is Uganda and this is our country. This is our world, you know. You know, because uh, one thing that I learned, uh, of course, when you don't uh, focus on stopping the suffering around your surrounding, still your suffering won't stop, even if you're, you have reached there. Mm. Understand? As long as your surrounding, your surrounding is still suffering, trust me, you can't, you know, you can't be at peace. But as long as, you know, you know you have some knowledge and about something, or you have some skill about something, and you know, you try, you, you, you put your major, foc uh, your major aim, on you know stopping that suffering from your surrounding. Trust me, that's when we live in peace and harmony. But of course, many many people don't see that. But that's that's the wrong thing. Trust me, like you know, trying to show someone a way and get your you know your sugar mm. coating. That's not good. Mm. Simon, uh, I can't thank you much for always gracing us with your presence and teaching us. This is so great. I'm honored, and I think you have so much fan base out there and people that watch you and always follow you and want to understand more about your information even tds are growing with us <laughs> tind is your friend yeah, he yeah. wants to trade but he's still he's he's having some cold feet i don't know why he's not he's not yet there his heart is not committed yeah, into right. trade he's scared of losing money mm. you know so but uh yeah the grit is the greed is guys trade wisely all right as he said, this is a live thing, all right? It's more like a live animal to tame. So you have to be smart about everything. All right, uh, we call it a wrap. I thank you very much for tuning this show with us and staying glued with us on the show. I want to remind you once again that today I decided to put on this cool, cool uh, titanium shades or glasses. You know, they make me look stylish. I look like a cowboy. <laughs> Just there in this zone, eh? I just need a guitar to complete the outfit. But uh, you can find La Pair everywhere across the country. They are opening up branches. They are spreading like rapid fire. They are now, they have a, a branch in Gayaza for people who use Gayaza Road. So uh, they are also on social media. Go on uh, La Pair Uganda. That's uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Use my name, Drago, as a code name and get a discount from anywhere. Good evening and have a good evening. Bye, and thank you for being a magnificent audience. Mwenaba.